Hey everyone, this is Dr. Sarah Winward. I am a naturopathic doctor and a lactation consultant with Birthmark. Uh, and I wanted to talk a little bit in honor of um, breastfeeding week about my top three favorite things about lactation. So these are just random facts about lactation that I find totally fascinating um, and I hope you enjoy them as well. So the first one is that uh, in your pregnancy, you actually start to make milk or colostrum, which is your baby's first milk, by about 20 weeks pregnant. So um, you're already producing milk like before your baby's born. Um, and also, as you get later on into pregnancy, your areola, which is the dark spot around your nipples, um, there's glands in your areola called the Montgomery glands, which start to produce an oily substance later in pregnancy that smells like amniotic fluid. And so when your baby is born and they're put on your, on your chest, skin to skin, um, your baby knows to look for um, your nipples and areola because it smells like home for them. Um, and that they have a really well developed sense of smell when they're born. And so they actually like look, look for that and follow that smell of amniotic fluid. I think that's really amazing. Um, the next one is um, that your baby or often babies are designed to be desserty. So um, as you get further into a feed, um, the milk tends to get higher in fat. And often um, you'll have a really great feed, like you'll you know have a three-sided feed, baby looks totally satisfied, great, put them down, and then 10 or 15 minutes later, they'll all of a sudden they're queuing again. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of parents, this is where they're like doing all the things, like the bouncing and the shushing and the pacifier and all the things because they can't possibly be hungry because they just ate. But often if you put babies um, back on, they will have like three or four more drinks of milk and then pass out, be totally done. And it's actually, they are hormonally programmed to go back and look for that higher fat milk. So they are literally looking for dessert. And then um, the last little fun fact that I want to talk about is that your milk, human milk, changes based on your baby's needs. So this is, and like in a whole variety of ways. So um, if your baby is preterm, your milk will have different um, properties to it. As your baby gets older, your milk will change as well in composition. So um, by the time your baby's about a month old, they're taking on average like three to four ounces per feed. That's very average. Um, by the time they're six months old, they're also still taking three to four ounces per feed because your milk has tailored its nutrition to meet the needs of a six month old baby as opposed to a one month old baby. Um, if it's hotter outside, then your milk will have more water in it because your baby needs more hydration. Um, and also your milk makes tailored immune factors based on what is it, what your baby is exposed to. So when you kiss your baby, um, or, you know, some people are like, I just want to eat their cheeks. Um, when you're doing that, those viruses and bacteria that are on your baby make their way into your gut. And your gut has a direct um, communication line with your milk making tissue and will actually tell your milk making tissue like, hey, these are the bacteria and viruses that were on your baby's skin, make the immune factors specific to those. Um, and that happens within 20 minutes of exposure. So you are making tailored immune factors all the time for your baby. Um, so those are my three favorite facts about lactation. I hope you enjoyed them, um, and I hope you have a great uh, lactation week. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.